What is up guys and welcome back to another YouTube tutorial. My name is Moabi and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a basic group policy object and then take that policy and apply it to all your users or your clients on your domain. So for this demonstration, I will be using the group policy management to create the group policy. So before we get started, in my last two videos, I explained what is group policy and how does it work. So in this demonstration, we are going to take the information that we learned about in the last two videos and then apply that information on our live machines. So in short, I will be creating a basic group policy object that is going to be applied to all clients that are joined on our domain. Let's continue with the video. So to get started, all you have to do is open up your group policy management console. And to do that, all you have to do is click on your start menu and then click on server manager. From your server manager, click on tools and then locate group policy management. You can click this to open group policy management or you can click on your start menu and from your start menu, click on Windows Administrative Tools. Scroll down from the list and then locate group policy management. You can also use this option to open up your group policy management console. So in my case, my group policy management is open. So I'm going to click away from this and then close my server manager. And now from your group policy management console, all you have to do is click on your group policy objects. And from this window, this is where we are going to be creating our first group policy object. So to create a group policy object, all you have to do is right click on group policy objects and then select new. Then give your group policy object a name. I'm going to name my group policy full start menu. And then click OK. So for this demonstration, I want to configure the start menu to open in full view mode on our clients. So hence the name full start menu for my group policy object. You can name your group policy object whatever name that you want. So I'm going with this because it's straightforward and easy for me to remember. So guys, once you click OK on your GPO, you will see your GPO inside your group policy objects on your domain. So I'm going to select my group policy object and then right click on it and then select edit. Once you click edit, the group policy management editor opens up and in this window, we get two options to select from, which is your computer configuration and user configuration. The computer configuration is all settings that apply to your computer. So meaning if we configure the computer configuration settings, all these settings will be applied to all computers that are affected by the group policy object. And if you take a look below, you will see user configuration. So these settings will apply to all users that are affected by the group policy object. The settings for the user configuration will follow the user account, even if they change computers. So this means that if we apply a group policy object that affects users within a certain organizational unit, all those users, even if they change computers, they will still get the same user configuration as long as that computer they are changing to is part of the domain and they are still using the same user account that they were using in their previous computer. This will necessarily bring back their files, but all the settings that we set in the user configuration will still apply on the new computer. So in this demonstration, I want us to configure the computer configuration settings. So click on computer configuration and then select policies and under policies, select administrative templates. Please note, you can still navigate your way around the group policy management editor using the side panel menu. So I'm going to click on the expand button next to administrative templates. And that should show me the same options that I see on my main window. So I'm going to be clicking on the start menu and taskbar. And in this window, I'm going to select the option for start to be either full screen size or menu size. To configure this option, all you have to do is double click on the option or you can right click on the option and then select edit. Now in the first start to be either full screen size or menu size window, you have three options to select from, not configured, enabled, and disabled. So we are going to select the option 
enabled. And if we take a look below, under options, now we have the options to choose one of the following sizes. So click on the drop down menu and then select full screen start. Then click apply. And before we go, if we don't know what the group policy does, all you have to do is read the information about the policy under the help section. But for this demonstration, I won't go through much about what the policy does because it's straightforward. This will open up our start menu in full screen start. So all you have to do is click on OK once you're done. And then close your group policy management editor. And now we have to link this group policy object to our domain or an organizational unit within our domain. Because I want all users within my domain to open the start menu in full screen mode, I'm going to apply this policy from a domain level. So to do this, I'm going to click on my domain name and then right click on my domain name and select the option link an existing GPO. And from this window, we will see all the group policy objects that we have created within our group policy management. So I'm going to select full start menu and then click on OK. And now under our domain name, you will see default domain policy and also full start menu GPO. That means the default domain policy and also the full start menu policy will be applied to the domain controllers OU and also the home admins OU together with all the child organizational units under home admins OU will be affected by the default domain policy and also the full start menu policy. So to test this policy, all you have to do is log into your client's computer. But before I do that, normally before I apply a policy, I prefer to run the group policy update command on my server. So to do that, I'm going to click on my start menu and then type in command. This will search for the command prompt application and then I'm going to click on the command prompt application. Now in the command prompt application window, all you have to do now is type in the command that we last saw in our last video, which is GP update space force slash force. And like I said in my earlier videos, this will force a manual update of the group policy. So once you type in the command, press enter and then wait for the policy to update. Once the command is finished, you will see computer policy update has completed successfully and under the computer policy, you will see user policy update has completed successfully as well. This command forces the computer policy and also user policy to be applied on any client that is affected by the group policy object. So I'm going to exit the command prompt application and then click on my start menu. From your start menu, you will see the following option, which is expand. And after you click the expand button, I want you guys to click on administrator and then select sign out. This will log you out of your server. And now I'm going to log on to my server to see the changes of the start menu. Remember, I applied the policy on a domain level and not under any organizational unit. So this means that any computer that is within our domain will be affected by the full start menu group policy object. And now I'm going to log back into my server and wait for the server to load up. Once the server is finished loading up, I'm going to click on the start menu to see the changes. So click on your start menu. And now you should see the start menu for the server open up in full screen mode. So this means that the policy was applied successfully on my server. But now let's have a look at our clients. So I'm going to log into my Windows 10 computer and see the changes of the group policy object. All right, guys, now that I'm in my Windows 10 computer, if I click on the start menu, you will see that the start menu doesn't open up in full screen mode. So to make sure that the start menu opens up in full screen mode, all you have to do is open up your command prompt. So click on the search tab and then type in command. You will see the command prompt application. Click on open to open the application. And then from the command prompt, same thing that we did to our server, we are going to use the same command line 
that we used on our server, which is GP update space force slash force. This will force a manual update of the group policy on our clients. So click enter and wait for the policy to update. The computer policy and user policy were applied successfully. So I'm going to close the command prompt application and then click on my start menu. And as you can see, the policy hasn't taken effect because my start menu didn't open up in full screen mode. So in order to force the group policy to apply, all you have to do is refresh your account. And to do that, all you have to do is click on the beggar option at the top, which is for expand and then click on your user account, then sign out. After this, you will have to log back into your computer and then we will see if the changes did take effect or not. So guys, now I am logging back into my computer and then we will test if the group policy object did take effect or not. Once the computer loads up, all you have to do now is click on your start menu and let's confirm if the group policy object did take effect or not. So I'm going to click on the start menu. And as you can see, the start menu opens up in full screen mode. So, so far, our group policy object for our start menu did apply successfully to our client, which is our Windows 10 computer and also our server. And with that being said, that concludes our video for today. I just wanted to show you guys how to create a basic group policy object, where to apply the group policy object, how to edit the group policy object using the group policy management editor, how to configure computer configurations that will affect clients or computers that are connected to the domain, how to use the GP update command, and also show you the before and after results after applying a group policy on a computer or a client. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have suggestions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. Give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share with a friend or two. And lastly, click on the subscribe button for more and I will see you guys on the next video. And remember, each one, teach one.